So tell me about what a typical LBQ lesson looks like in Bluebell class. What does like, it look like? Like you do a code and then you need to enter your name and then you have tasks that you go into. And who, who sets those tasks? The teacher. So yeah. Mrs. Lawrence sets them, does she? Yeah. Okay, so you're in the lesson. How do you um, activate it? Is it on laptops or iPads? You can activate it by um, anything you can get onto it, by phones, iPads, computers, anything. Uh, in the classroom, what do you use? Um, we mainly use iPads, but some people go out onto their computers and you oh, actually do see. Oh, so some people use the ICT suite, some children stay in the classroom and have it on the iPads. Mm -hmm. And what does a typical lesson look like? What does Mrs Lawrence do during the lesson whilst you're busy doing your maths on LBQ? She usually just looks up how we're doing. So what does that look like to her? How do you know what she's looking at? Um, that, well, if you get a red then that means that you, you're starting it. If you've got a yellow then that means you got one incorrect answer, but you got through it. Oh, so you're saying that Mrs. Lawrence can monitor yeah. everyone who's live yeah. in the lesson access and LBQ. She can monitor it on her screen, yeah. and she knows who's getting what right and who needs a bit more support. Yeah? yeah. And then what does that trigger her to do? What does she do next, Millie? So if there's, um, she normally does it if you get more than five reds or one question, she usually calls you over. All right, and what, what, what happens then? And then she goes through the question with you, and it helps. Okay, so she gives you feedback? Yeah. Okay, that's great. And have you been called over before? Yeah, a couple of times. And has it helped? Yeah. What about you? Uh, yeah, same for me. No. That's really interesting, because when I do my people learning conversations in maths, because you know I'm the maths leader, one thing that came through is about children at school, they really love feedback. So has she talked to you at all about growth mindset and challenge or anything like that? She talked to you about yeah. that? So what she, she said? She sometimes says, like, come on, you can do it. Um, it's not that hard. And she always motivates you to try and do it. That's yeah. good. She cheers you up. Can you see why it's in, can you see why it's important that some children, um, that we do get ambers and reds? Uh, Why do you think it's important to me as a maths lead to know that children aren't always getting just greens? Because mistakes should help you to learn. Yeah, absolutely, that's right. I want to see children make mistakes because I know it helps you grow. It helps grow your brain. It's that growth mindset. So I want to see challenge. Anything else about um, the lesson that Mrs Lawrence does when she's teaching LBQ? Um, so basically these it sometimes has a table of where people need help. Yeah. Um, and then basically, like, a table gets moved and then it gets changed into an iPad table. Like a support table, yeah. a conference table. Yeah. Fantastic. What if loads of children are getting <coughs> stuff wrong? Can she do anything different? Can she stop the lesson and...? She can stop a task and make it easier. So she can stop it yeah. during the lesson? Yeah. yeah. And so if, if people are finding one particular question a bit tricky, what does that look like? What does she do? Uh, she usually just calls you over and help. Okay, but if the whole class were? Millie, go on, you can say so, something. So, like, she would um, turn the board on so everyone could see that on the big screen um, and she would go through it as a whole class. Okay, so she'll tackle misconceptions yeah. there and then. What do you like about LBQ the most? Uh, that is, um, that it basically helps you to learn and like you can write and the writing can help you to understand it more. What about you, May? It's fantastic, Lou. <coughs> because you can like type your answers in and you can always and change it and it's and you can retry it because if you get it wrong you don't have to just move on to the next question you can have lots more attempts that's great what do you think about the actual questions themselves sometimes they're challenging but sometimes they're quite easy and they're not too hard okay so do you think in general lbq has helped um improve your maths yeah. at the school yeah, what about yeah. you Luke? Yeah, Fantastic. probably. Wow, great.